Yeah, hello. I went straight to Diamond One again using Brave Virtual World. Congrats. After more testing, I am convinced Adventure version is stronger than regular. How so? You see, the initial thought was dropping desire would hurt the consistency, right? Yeah, let's draw power. But Brave Engine opens up more place than we couldn't before. After some more testing, I find consistency did not take a hit or even slightly better. All these cards have discard effect. For example, previously if you open with King and Long and no other specials on Virtual World, then we would break. Exactly, but with Fate 4 and Interest or Right of Eye, we can use Fate 4 to search for Gryon wider, then dump King Long as cast. This also creates easy one card combo that care for Nibu, which was not possible before. I see, any other discard card we can take advantage of? Good question. King Long, Shuangu Water and Entrust, Nian Nian and Chu Che. These all have graveyard effect. Draco Bag, in this case, would trigger when sent to graveyard and equipped to adventure, token, and Nibu because that's for going second. This is hard to remember at once. That's right, my old version of Virtual World is already require high skill to play. This version is even harder, but once you master it, Pretty easy to demand one. As always the decklist link is provided in the description down below. Let's go into some gameplays to help you familiarize with the combo. Do start. This is good example to show you how we can take advantage of the discard mechanism. We have two cards. We don't want to see opening hand. King Long and Fateful. Start by Kowloon and press UJ. Place Fateful Adventure. Trigger its search at Brian Wider. Dump King Long as cost. Trigger King Long Graveyard Effect, add Lulu to hand, then dump Water and Entrust, Trigger and Entrust, and add White of Eye. Special Sun Rider, when controlling no monster, ouch, gamma hit. Anyways we keep going, Trigger Fateful, when monster is summoned, add Draco back to hand, Trigger Light, to Special Sun Adventure Token, Trigger Lulu, targeting Virtual World Trap, send Virtual World Spell, and add Virtual World Monster, Trigger really targeting monster, sending trap and spell. Synchro into Goku Dragon. Trigger its effect to draw one card. Trigger all out targeting trap. Send Nyan Nian. Then special some Lili. Trigger Shwamu special some Lulu. Dump Draco back. As cost. Since it is sent to graveyard when we control an adventure token, equip it. Chain Nian Nian to special some since we summon the level. Free. Using Lao Lao and the token Synchro into Barney. This is one on Mitigate, which is one spell on field. After use, we can swap Barney with Graveyard Brian Wider, combined with Adventure Token. This is second on Mitigate by sending back to deck. Then trigger Fateful to grab Brian back. And special sum, we have UJ effect to recycle virtual wall tunnels. Combine wider and tuna back to Barney. Notice yet? This is infinite loop of 3 to 4 omni negates plus 2. Destroy effect every 2 turns. Next synchro summon Shen Shen on turns that you can declare attack. We can use Shen Shen bounce back from banish to graveyard to send water and entrust. Then trigger and entrust banishing herself to recycle graveyard right. Then trigger right to summon brave token. Notice yet. This is infinite group of generating adventure token. We can then use the token to synchro some Ching Ying. Combine with Shen Shen, send field to banish effect, which triggers Ching Ying banish opponent field, and graveyard effect every single turn. Lastly, using two level lines, XYZ into two king of calamities. Make sure to hold your turtle to on my turn change. Trigger Calamities declaring win because abundance of full under e, which prevent the monster activation and attack declaration of dead attribute. Since we didn't get to use Barney in gate, keeping her for now and use destroy effect. Because we are playing against the ball, Shadow, which has a lot of graveyard effects. This time declare duck as attribute. I wasn't very familiar with their combo, so negating the fusion spell probably would have been better. Preventing Shen Shen getting banished, since we want her back. Rebarring die to shut those two from sent to graveyard effect. Special some Shen Shen by banishing two monsters. Then trigger Fateful to add an Entross, dump her as cost. Then trigger graveyard effect to recycle white. Trigger King Long at Lulu and dump right as cost. It turns out BFT only prevent activation of monster effect, since Shadow Window has passive effect. 
which is after all the time. We are bonded by only one special sum, and how can not be destroyed by card effect? As you can see here, sending an interest back to graveyard so we can get a free token again next time. Trigger right to special sum token. Trigger Lulu targeting trap. And that low low, XYZ to level 3 into Phantom Knight or Break Sword. Trigger his effect destroy both Fateful and Schism. Since we don't have target left for Fateful anymore. Trigger low low, sending Shuan Wu. Special some Lulu then combine with token. Synchro into Chen Yin. Trigger ZZ, sending Ju Che. Synchro into Stardust Warrior for a card draw. The remainder of video is more additional gameplays. Thank you for watching.